Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how Silicon Valley, the global center for high technology and innovation, came to be. You may have heard of Silicon Valley as the home of many famous companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, and Tesla, but do you know how it got its name and what factors contributed to its growth? In this video, I'm going to tell you the fascinating story of the birth and evolution of Silicon Valley. The term Silicon Valley was first used in the early 1970s by a journalist named Don Heffler, who wrote a series of articles about the region's emerging semiconductor industry. He chose the name because silicon was the main material used to make transistors, which are the building blocks of all modern microprocessors. Transistors are tiny devices that can switch or amplify electrical signals, and they are essential for creating electronic circuits and computers. The history of Silicon Valley can be traced back to the 1930s, when two Stanford University professors, Frederick Terman and William Shockley, started to conduct research on electronics and radio engineering. Terman encouraged his students to start their own companies in the area, and he also helped to establish a close relationship between Stanford and the U.S. Department of Defense, which provided funding and contracts for many high-tech projects. Shockley, who was one of the inventors of the transistor at Bell Labs, moved to California in 1956 and founded Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory, the first company to produce silicon transistors. However, Shockley was not a good manager, and he soon alienated his employees with his authoritarian and paranoid style. In 1957, eight of his engineers, who became known as the Traitorous Eight, left his company and formed Fairchild Semiconductor, which became one of the most successful and influential firms in Silicon Valley. Fairchild Semiconductor pioneered the mass production of integrated circuits, which are chips that contain multiple transistors and other components on a single piece of silicon. Integrated circuits made computers faster, smaller, and cheaper, and they enabled the development of many new technologies, such as personal computers, video games, and the Internet. Fairchild Semiconductor also spawned many spin-off companies, such as Intel, AMD, and National Semiconductor, which further expanded the silicon industry in the region. By the 1970s, Silicon Valley had become the world's leading hub for semiconductor innovation and manufacturing. The region also attracted many talented engineers, entrepreneurs, and investors, who created a vibrant and competitive culture of risk-taking, creativity, and collaboration. One of the most important events that shaped Silicon Valley was the invention of the personal computer in the 1970s and 1980s. The personal computer, or PC, was a revolutionary device that allowed ordinary people to use computers at home and at work, and it opened up new possibilities for communication, education, entertainment, and business. The pioneers of the PC industry were mostly young and visionary people who started their own companies in their garages or basements, such as Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak of Apple, Bill Gates and Paul Allen of Microsoft, and Steve Case of AOL. The PC industry also created a huge demand for software, which is the set of instructions that tells a computer what to do. Software became a key source of innovation and value in Silicon Valley, and many new companies emerged to develop software for various applications, such as operating systems, databases, word processors, spreadsheets, graphics, games, and web browsers. Some of the most famous software companies in Silicon Valley include Oracle, Adobe, Sun Microsystems, Netscape, and Google. The rise of the Internet in the 1990s and 2000s was another major milestone in the history of Silicon Valley. The Internet is a global network of computers that can exchange information and services, and it has transformed the way we communicate, learn, shop, socialize, and entertain ourselves. The Internet also created new opportunities and challenges for businesses, and many new companies emerged to offer online products and services, such as e-commerce, search engines, social media, cloud computing, and streaming. Some of the most successful Internet companies in Silicon Valley include Amazon, eBay, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, Netflix, and Uber. Today, Silicon Valley is still the world's leading center for high technology and innovation, and it continues to produce new and exciting products and services that change our lives. Silicon Valley is home to more than 30 companies in the Fortune 1000, and thousands of startup companies that are working on the next big thing. Silicon Valley also accounts for one-third of all the venture capital investment in the United States, which helps to fuel the growth of new and existing businesses. However, Silicon Valley is not without its challenges and criticisms. 
Some of the issues that Silicon Valley faces include the high cost of living, the lack of diversity, the environmental impact, the ethical dilemmas, and the social and economic inequalities. Silicon Valley also faces competition from other regions and countries that are developing their own high-tech ecosystems, such as China, India, Israel, and Europe. Silicon Valley is a fascinating and complex phenomenon that has shaped our world in many ways. It is the result of the intersection of several factors, such as a skilled science research base, plentiful venture capital, permissive government regulation, and steady defense spending. It is also the product of the vision, passion, and hard work of many people who dared to dream big and make it happen. Silicon Valley is not just a place, it is a mindset and a culture that inspires innovation and entrepreneurship. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the formation of Silicon Valley. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.